Hi everyone, good to have you back in our next episode. If you have rare US coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. This beautifully toned Washington quarter realized over $27,000 at Legend Rare Coin Auction. 1964 D25 cent in superb gem condition of MS68 which is proven by CAC. Everything about this coin screams out to the viewer. Its exceptional visual allure captivates the eye. Classic mint set hues blend on both pristine sides. Its rich colors amplified by a bold, radiating mint luster. PCGS certified only two specimens in given grade with none being finer. This marvelous quarter dollar ended up selling for $27,025 at legend rare coin auctions here is 1879s morgan silver dollar in mint state 68 plus the 1879s morgan silver dollar in mint state 68 plus is a rare and valuable coin it is high grade example of the 1879s morgan silver dollar which was produced at the san francisco mint in the united states ms68 plus is one of the highest grades for this coin indicating that it is in almost perfect condition with only minor imperfections visible under magnification this gem ended up selling for $28,822.50 with buyer's fee at great collections auction next 1992 Lincoln cent with closed AM on reverse highly elusive penny variety in mint condition graded as MS64 red and brown by PCGS Close AM means that the letters A and M in America are close to each other, almost touching. The variety was only present on a few coins produced that year, making it highly sought after by collectors. The cherry picker's reference notes that the reverse design of 1993 was employed on some circulation strike 1992 cents, which resulted in this variety. It was bargained for $22,800 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this error dime, 1972s Roosevelt dime double struck both strikes off center. The first strike was off center toward 1.30, and the second strike was off center toward 5 o'clock. Broad struck without reading. A substantial portion of the first strike remains, including ERTI in Liberty. The upper outline of the portrait and one dime sold for $2,520 at Heritage Auctions. Yet another Roosevelt dime is one regular strike, 1966 10 cent with full bands on the reverse, graded in mean state 68. It is a high quality coin that has been graded by a professional grading service, and only small percentage of all 1966 Roosevelt dimes meet MS68 full bands criteria. The full bands on the dime refers to the two lines on the reverse side of a coin located near the bottom, that represents the torch bands. When a coin has full bands, it means that the lines are well defined, crisp, and have full separation between them. It ended up selling for $2,306.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. And this is 1985 D. Jefferson Nickel and Mint State 67. Comes with full steps designation, meaning it is fully struck on reverse side. The 1985 D. Jefferson Nickel with MS67 full steps is a relatively rare and valuable coin. This coin is graded as MS67, which means it is in mint condition with only minor imperfections. The full steps designation refers to the detail on the steps leading up to Monticello on the reverse side of a coin. This crisply struck example ended up selling for $1370.25, including buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thanks for watching guys, like, share and subscribe. Have a good one. Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoinas.com. For mobile users it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinas app.